you. Thank you, Deputy Prime Minister. That was a, an absolutely wonderful way to start this. This is what, what I heard was this is life and death situation. Uh, and I've never used those words before um, when we talk about uh, exponential technologies and the way we, as a community, are going to change the world. Um, but it actually is quite relevant to talk about it in that way. Um, at Singularity University, we not only want to help you all, uh, our, our community around the world, to change your country, to become more exponential, to become global citizens, but we also want to discuss and work with you and collaborate on how we can do that, make, make money, be profitable, bring people out of poverty, change the world, and also in a, uh, to work in a way that, that is beneficial for everyone. We have global grand challenges around the world, um, and we want to focus to exponential technologies to, to solve the world's largest challenges. So when the Deputy Prime Minister was talking about specifically the challenges that Thailand has, I feel like the conversations and the talks that you're going to hear in the next two days are going to be incredibly relevant to those specific issues. Not only are you going to hear about the most up-to-date manufacturing technologies from around the world, but you are also going to learn about the exponential mindset. And what does that mean? We keep using this word exponential. That is a shift in your mind on how you see the problems that are in front of you, the issues that the Deputy Prime Minister raised in his talk. And the old ways in which these issues have been dealt with in the past are not the ways in which they can be dealt with in the future. And so I hope with all the information that you're going to get in the next two days, not only are you going to learn about the different technologies, but also how these entrepreneurs and companies and organizations are doing things very differently. We have Enable, which is a, a, the prosthetic arm, prosthetic limb of 3D printer that you see out there, which is a completely volunteer organization, or as John likes to call it, a non-organization. We have uh, the COO of Hyperloop, which is a completely crowdsourced company. We have Archimodo, which is the car that you see out there that is completely changing the way um, automobile manufacturing is happening around the world. These are just a few of the problems that these entrepreneurs saw and a different way of solving them. I also want to thank you all for having us here. As you all know, last year, and many of you were here, uh, we had our first uh, Singularity University Summit in all of Southeast Asia here in Thailand last year, and it was a huge success, and we got such amazing feedback. Um, and last year, we were discussing bringing the industry-specific summits globally. We've had exponential manufacturing in Boston uh, in 2016 and 17, and it made sense for us to start doing these summits outside of the United States. When um, the Federation of Thai Industries came to us and with Exponential Social Enterprise, it was just a perfect fit for us to do our first industry-focused summit here in Thailand. So you are our, you are our fir the first, 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 and we are so happy to be here, and we are so honored that you are having us here. So I uh, am the managing director of the international summits around the world. We have 20 uh, this year, which is pretty amazing. We started with five in 2016, and now we're at 20. And um, I also feel like referencing back to the Deputy Prime Minister in, in his talk, you know, we, we very carefully pick the countries in which we have these summits. And so, so what he was saying is having Thailand be a global citizen and not just focusing, as my president is only focusing on his own country and not the world, uh, but that, that's not really the way to do it, right? Uh, so, so at SU we don't believe that, and we believe that we all need to be global citizens. And so being one 
of our 20 summits around the world for us is a great honor. And so we thank you for being part of that community. Thank you.